What's up all my fellow RC fanatics? How's everybody doing? I got something cool I wanted to show you today. Uh, as you guys know, I've been doing a lot of stuff with uh, the Axial Yetis. These trucks really are pretty cool. Uh, besides the fact that at stock, they can be a little on the weaker side of things. Hey, everybody's got their downfalls, everybody's got their problems on their trucks. But overall, the Yeti is really an awesome truck. It really is. So, lately I've been showing you guys a lot of cool little things that you can do, especially from side companies, uh, like the smaller guys, especially from CBE RC Fab. They have been creating a ton of uh, little upgrades and improvements on the Axial Yetis. Uh, however, today I wanted to show you guys something more simpler, a little bit smaller, but yet can make a huge difference in the overall operation of your Axial Yeti. Um, what I am talking about is the strong arm sleeves. You guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Some of you guys have already gotten these uh, from Lee. He is the creator of the strong arm sleeve. And what it is is basically a little tube with a new screw and a new nut. And what these do all right. They go into your low, your front control arm here. The sleeve actually goes right through your control arm. And what it does is it strengthen, strengthens this uh, portion of the control arm as well as it prevents or helps to prevent uh, the bending of that screw. The famous bending of that screw pin front end issue that almost everybody seems to be having. Um, surprisingly, I am actually going on my third screw now. When I was taking this off to do one side, which I've already done already, I discovered that my second set of screws actually were already bending. Let's see if I can show you guys here. It's not the easiest to show on camera, um, but if you guys can kind of get an idea, there is a slight bend up in this corner of the uh, screw, and this is from actually the passenger side one, I believe. Both of them are doing it. Um, and the biggest problem is you just, you have a gap in between the control arm there. All right? And the front end, with all the plastic and everything, tends to flex, especially when you come down hard off of a jump or uh, you hit a rock or something pretty hard. Surprisingly, if you guys have been watching the videos, I haven't really been doing too much with this Axial Yeti other than some scale trail uh, runs and um, a few other minor things. Nothing abusive, really. So I'm actually kind of surprised that those screws still were bending. However, with the strong arm sleeves, that should change. So I'm going to show you guys how to install these. Um, what you will need is a 3 16 drill bit, a drill, uh, your screwdriver to take off a few parts from the control arm to make this thing a little bit easier, and that should be about it. Max time, you're probably looking at about 5-10 minutes at the very most if you're pretty quick with taking screws out. Um, honestly, the longest part is just disassembling the shock and a couple other pieces to take the control arm out. To actually put the sleeve in literally takes minutes. So let me bring the camera a little bit closer, uh, and I can show you guys step by step of exactly how to do this. All right, let's get it on. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I've already pre-disassembled uh, the lower control arm off of my Axial Yeti. Um, but to do so, I mean seriously, all you got to do is take off the lower portion of the shock. Uh, your upper turnbuckle set and your steering linkage, okay? And you can take it completely off and leave it just as that. Put the drive shaft off to the side uh, to make things a little bit easier. And while it's off, it's not a bad idea to take it and clean everything up, make sure the bearings are all good in this at the same time. Make sure you don't have any excessive wear inside of your control arms. Um, and make sure everything else inside of here looks pretty good, okay? Now, before we continue on, I do want to make a note um, that you can use these strong arm sleeves on your stock uh, control arm. You don't have to do it with the RPM ones that I have. Now, also as a side note, 
Lee over at Strong Arm Sleeves will sell the sleeves for both sides and he can also sell you the RPM control arms if you don't have them and you would like them. Uh, I highly recommend them. They are extremely strong, durable. Most of you guys already know from RPM, they produce some quality plastic parts. So, let's uh, just take the nut off here. Take the tube out. New screw, new tube, new nut. Right there. All right. So the first thing that we got to do is we have to actually make that hole on the control arm slightly bigger. Now you're really not making it a heck of a lot bigger, so I'm not concerned one bit about this weakening from the lack of plastic. Especially since you're putting a metal tube in there, you're almost reinforcing it, adding even more strength than what was there before, in a sense. Alright, so the first thing we got to do is grab your 316 drill bit, and just to show you guys here I already tested this out I just gotta wait there we go so uh, 3 sixteenths if you guys can read that I know it's kinda hard to but 3 sixteenth drill bit alright grab your drill now I put my drill on the one setting we don't need this to go extremely fast slower is better uh, if you have a vise that would be great. If you don't, what I like to do is come at it, holding it down and drilling in at a slight angle. Go slow, make sure that you're doing it straight as best as you can, okay? So let's see how well we can do this one. I already did the other side, it came out pretty good. Clear the plastic off of there. Okay. So we made our holes. Clear out the rest of the plastic. You guys give you a general idea how much bigger we just went there. Okay pretty straight on. Now the other thing I like to do is take a little sandpaper and um, if you guys can see just smooth out those edges a little bit okay. So let me grab my sandpaper here hold on All right, and we're just going to smooth it out make it nice and clean Okay. And yes, this is the sanding paper from the sanding block from Proline Racing. This thing is amazing. It works great on everything. All right, so now that we're done, now it's time to insert the sleeve. Now, this sleeve is still going to be a little bit tight when you're doing it. It does not matter which direction you put it in. Get it started. Sometimes you can just push it to go through or you can use a little hammer as you guys can see I'm just using my hand with a little bit of force lining that thing up okay we're almost through <clears throat> now I have this little tab left what I want to do is actually take this against the edge of my uh, table here that way I can finish pushing it the rest of the way through okay. so hold on and there we go we have our new strong arm sleeve inserted into the control arm. It's nice and snug. Should not slip out. Now we can go ahead and reassemble it the same way that we took it off. Okay. Now, inside of here, uh, I know it's a little tough. Maybe I can bring this a little closer for you guys to see. Okay. See the little hole? Whoa! If you guys can see the little hole right there. <clears throat> I know the lighting's not the best, but there's a little hole right there, and that's where there's a plastic nut. You're going to need to remove that plastic nut. The easiest way to do it is take a small little flathead and just pry in there and keep poking it until it kind of comes out. That's how I was able to do it. Now, instead of the plastic nut, we're going to be inserting the metal one, okay, which should keep the screw from actually backing out on us. So I'm going to go ahead, put that in, and jump forward a little bit in the video. 
Okay, so I just use a little pair of needle nose pliers to place it in there and then just push it down into that hole. All right, so grab our control arm here that fell. Slide this in, nice and snug. And uh, just try to get it to all line up. Okay, and there we go. And now I'm gonna finish screwing this in because I know this is gonna bore you guys. But you want to make sure it's in there tight, snug it up, put everything back together, and then you are good to go. Uh, also to mention, the mount right here, where you would mount up your bumper, uh, and it attaches to the front end, kind of helps to hold this in, this piece right here. If you get an aluminum one of those, that's also a huge benefit into keeping, that this screw, keeping the screw from actually bending. This is almost one of the biggest problems is this plastic piece here. However, I haven't upgraded mine yet, but I'm going to here in the future. So let me put the screws back in, and then I can show you guys how it's all done and ready to go. Okay, so. <clears throat> all right, so we're done. That was it. Super, super easy. Yeah. Try to bring this a little closer so you can see the final product there. As you can see, there's your new sleeve. Nice and smooth. Okay. Much stronger than before. And that should help keep that screw from bending. And like I said, that front, the front piece right here that I'm touching, because honestly, I don't know what the name of that thing is. <laughs> if you get an aluminum one, that will also help improve it. Uh, when you're tightening these down, make sure you don't tighten them too tight, otherwise the control arm is going to be a little bit stiff moving. What I like to do is I like to tighten it down until it does get stiff and then slowly start backing it out as I work the control arm until I feel it actually loose and that there's still no gap between the screw and this. That's how I know that this is still free floating and it's still got its tightness. Um, also, don't make the same mistake I just did because I had to do this twice installing the shock in these things, I forgot to put the drive shaft in. So, little side note, make sure you put the drive shaft in. <laughs> so, that's it. Much stronger, much better. Love it. Very simple little project you can do. Huge improvement. Um, if you guys want to know more about this, I will post a link to the Facebook page of the Strong Arm Sleeve um, Facebook page. And uh, where you can order it is also from the Facebook page of Strong Arm Sleeves. Uh, at this time right now, that is the only spot that you can order these up from is on Facebook, unfortunately. Uh, he doesn't have an entire web store yet. So, if you guys have any more questions about this, um, or you want to see something else about it, let me know in the comment description below, uh, and I'll put a ton of information as well as actual specs of the diameter of the tubing, um, the specs of the control arm, and stuff like that, all in the description box so you guys can have a better idea as far as how this is all done. Alright, thanks for watching you guys, and I will see you next time.